So here's an update. What do we got next on our plate? When I did the burger comparison, Bodie, T-Rex, and then threw in the Prague burger, I got a lot of comments on that. Um, and, and by the way, thank everybody for, I thank you all for all the comments, contributions, emails, messages. Um, it's kind of becoming a waterfall. And if I don't get back to you right away, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying to get to everything. Uh, we're getting into triple digits now for me that's I've got a lot going on and so it, it's a handful if I miss anybody I really apologize because I really am trying to get to every single one I'm sure I'm missing some I'm getting a lot of good feedback now on this burger deal of uh, I think what I'm going to do, at least for a while, until I get heartburn, I think I'm going to have a little series of, what, we'll call it the Burger Wars, I don't know what else to call it, where I will go to various places that have hamburgers. We'll start with hamburgers. And I'll do like a mini food review um, on this burger, and then I'll go to this place and do a mini f food review and between the two see which one I thought was best value the tastiest and we'll do that and then I'll go to another couple like that and if if it works out if it's fun um, if I can afford to keep doing it then maybe I'll go to some other things maybe we'll do some ribs here and ribs there and try to do a kind of a head-to-head -head comparison um, I did the Bodie burger, I did the T-Rex burger, and I did those kind of twice. Um, I did the Prague burger, which right now in, in my book is the, is the winner. And I've been to lots, and I got lots of suggestions, and I thank you. With the exception of one, I had actually been to all the ones that were suggested to me. Uh, there is one that I will hit that was, I don't even remember, I have to look it up. I've got set aside, and I will go there, and I'll give it a try. I think this next one I'm going to do, and I might even do it tomorrow, is going to be Inca, which has a really good burger, and um, what's it called? Chill, Chill and Grill. Chill and Grill. Nice little restaurant, few locations. So I'm going to do a Chill and Grill burger, and I'm going to do an Inca burger. And I will show you the burger, and I'll show you the price, and a little bit around the place, and I'll take some bites, probably not on camera, I'm kind of, it kind of freaks me out. But, you know, I'll have some, and um, Sandy will probably go with me, I might even get Adriana to go with me tomorrow. So I'll try to have somebody there, and maybe I'll get them to take the bite, so you can see, you know, the, the impact, you know, the juice running down the... Mm. I don't know. But I'm going to try to do that. It sounds kind of like fun for me. It gives me a place to go for lunch. Um, and hopefully that works out. So I got that a number of suggestions to keep that going. I'm going to give it a try. Um, with everything that's going on in my life, with the uh, things I've become involved in, I kind of have to pinch my pennies a little bit these days. So, But I'll do what I can do with that. Now, I also want to do a video based, again, um, on a number of suggestions. I'm planning to get here and how to approach it and certain things. Now, over the course of the videos I've done, I've done some specific topics, and hopefully they're helpful. Some of those are a little outdated. Some, it was before I had a, a better microphone, the sound was a little, you know, hard to to uh, put up with. So I'm going to try to do one that's a bit of a compilation that will talk about uh, should you use a container or not when you come here? Uh, should you rent? Should you buy? How, how should you approach that? Where do you live when you're trying to find a place to live? And So I'm going to kind of put this together that will be 
a how-to with my reasons of why I feel this is the best, this is the best, this is the best, and why you don't want to do this, this, and this. So I'm going to put that together, and that will be within the next few days. Um, just so you know, I do have a lot going on. I made the commitment to this foundation that I mentioned in another video that Adriana is, has begun. I've committed to doing some video work for that. This business that will be supporting that foundation that Adriana uh, agreed to be the director of. I'm going to be doing these little mini commercials and for those services and I'm going to be tacking those mini commercials on the ends of my video. So what will happen is I'll do my video the way I do them and then there'll be the outro with the little guinea pig and then after that where right now I put kind of blooper shots or anything that I find kind of humorous I'll put those little clips after that if you haven't been looking if you've been clicking off before that and some you're kind of missing out on some cute or funny things but I'm going to be putting some commercials so they're not commercials that I'm going to financially profit from but they're commercials in that they're going to advertise a particular service that if you're coming here or if you've been here recently that you're looking for so if you're making these plans stay we call it the outro the the little guinea pig ending stay through that and you'll be seeing some commercials now if you get to the end of that and it's just blank then it's not there it won't be on everyone at least for a while but as I get these made I'm going to be putting them there when I first make it I'll put it in a video so you can see what it is and that it exists and I'll mention there after that I'll try to tag one every video I'll just rotate them and and do it in such a way that that information will become readily available to you on what to do. if you need a guide to take you to Inga Perka uh, what's a really good source for that so you'll have one place to go to find all of these things so that's all coming up soon and I'm working on that so I'm working on the business uh, spots I'm almost done but I've got to finish the web page for that uh, most of it is done I'm working on the foundation videos uh, Adriana has laid out some shots for me to do one entails a drone it sounds like a neat idea this huge paper I believe in the park this huge paper down on the ground and all these kids that are actually part of this foundation that she's setting up or has set up all these kids are going to be there doing some kind of finger painting something and laying down and I'm supposed to do a drone shot aerial view of these kids laying on this paper with all this finger paint thing going on it may sound a little bizarre but it's kind of neat it's intriguing and hopefully I can do it justice being the non-pro that I am I am selling the drone I'm going to be donating that um, the proceeds for that so watching gringo post I'm going to be posting that up every once in a while until I get it sold it's a bargain for here it's about right if you were in the USA so um, let me know on that I told you in this other video I'm going to do everything I can to support this idea I think it's certainly worthwhile and I think that is worth more than the fun I have with a drone so that aerial shot will be the last aerial shot the drone takes in my hands then I've got a few meetings coming up with uh, some visiting and gringos that have moved here yeah I know I've fallen into the gringo terminology thing <sighs> whatever and so I've got meetings for them I've got one coming up where we're gonna spend a couple hours they're gonna be looking around the neighborhood and hitting me with every question they can possibly think of that I can answer the best I can for their preparation of probably moving here in the near future they're on an extended vacation here I guess so 
what else do I have going on? I've got, um, I've also got, of course, for my income, I have this online consulting thing that I do that uh, brings me money so I can, you know, exist. It, be, between the move and all the things that have been going on recently, I've neglected it. It's really fallen behind and I'm starting to feel the pinch on that. So I really got to kick that in, into gear. So I have a lot on my plate. You know, for somebody who is supposed to be recuperating and retired, um, I don't seem to have any free time anymore. But that's not such a bad thing. Pretty much everything I'm doing and I'm involved in, I feel good about. I feel that it's all has meaning and value and you can't beat that, right? And last thing, um, I got questions. I talked about it in some videos, but I got some follow-up questions again about my health. My health is great. I feel on top of the world. Every day I feel more energy. I actually, um, I find myself finding excuses to go for a walk because it just feels so good being able to do that. Um, the other day I came from Supermax. I'm not terribly far, but I didn't bring a taxi. I had eight bags of groceries. Um, half of them were quite heavy. I had a six pack of uh, agua con gas, water, a bunch of things were pretty heavy. I decided I was going to walk. I walked back. It was a piece of cake. It was absolutely no problem. And um, something I couldn't do recently. And as far as losing weight, you know, I, I did a clip on my belt and the, the notches since I got here to when I had to drill a new one because I had lost that much off of my belt. Um, I wore a pair of jeans that I hadn't worn in years the other day, although a little snug. Um, yeah, I wore them. I've been, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I decided to check this. I've got a scale and I would look at it once a month or so. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Lately, I've been noticing some more rapid changes. And so for the past seven, eight days, I've checked it every morning. I've been losing almost a pound a day. Um, kind of blows me away, but I, I'm, I'm at a place where I've still got a ton of weight to lose, but I haven't seen this weight since the first year I was sick. So, you know, we're dropping down. In fact, I have so much energy, I'm feeling so good, I feel I can actually do some kind of exercise, which I couldn't do before. It's hard to explain all this. And, you know, all your muscle, when you're laying in bed for several years, your muscles turn to jello. I got a lot of jello going on. You know, it's like, whoa. <laughs> So it's time to get back all the way to normal. I'm, there's a gym a few blocks from here. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna wing it, but I'm gonna see if I can get there. The doctor had told me because of my situation, I need to actually lift weights. I need to put muscle back in and walking and other kinds of exercises really won't do that. And I mean, he's right, you know, this is, this is really loose stuff. I got a lot of loose stuff going on. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get into some kind of weight lifting thing and uh, get myself back to normal. Keep working on that metabolism. Um, so overall, life is good. I'm quite happy. I'm extremely busy and I've got a lot of ideas for videos uh, coming up. So I hope you're along for the ride. You know you could.